All right, so this is what we get after it's been printed. Okay, so... All right, so I had you upside down. Sorry about that. All right, so I'm going to cut the ends off of um, my pages. All right, so this is what we have after um, we've cut. So we have our books, our notepads rather, and you want to make sure that you have your chipboard as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the chipboard on the back part of the notepads and then I'm going to glue them. All right, you can see where the chipboard is and um, they're on the back side of the notepads. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's been stacked together and I'm going to use, okay, I want to use my clamp to go on here. I also have just a simple piece of wood that I'm going to use as well. And I'm going to lay that on top. And then I'm going to clamp all of it together real tight. my clamp and you can see I put it on here and I'm just going to clamp it real tight okay you guys see my grandbaby all right okay Okay, so now that I have it clamped, I have my brush and I put a little glue right here and I'm just going to go ahead and brush the back side. Just brush the back side evenly with the glue. And I normally put a thick layer on, just make sure that it's, um, sorry, I normally put a thick layer on, just make sure that it's even. So that way I don't have to keep going back to let it dry. It's going to dry the same way if I put multiple coats on there or if I just put a thick layer on there. So I'm just going to put a thick layer on it. And just let it dry all at once. Give it about 15 minutes and let it dry completely. All right, so I'm just going to let it sit and dry for about 15 minutes. Okay, so now that it's dry, or mostly dry, yeah, it's mostly dry, um, I've taken it apart. But what I did was I put a piece of paper on each side, um, of it so that way when I tear it off because sometimes when you when you're gluing it glue gets on that first sheet so you don't want that to be a sheet that you're actually going to need for your book so you want to make sure that you know if that's on there you go ahead and pull it off so again that's basically what I did um, as you can see I'm just tearing it away and that leaves a cleaner look same thing for this and I can tell right here that the book really isn't really all that dry because this first page feels like it's a little damp still 
But yeah. I'm just going to tear it away. And because, yeah, that let me know that this is still wet. But once it's completely dry, what you're going to do is just tear them off. You can tear them off. You can use blade, whatever you feel, to just separate your pages. And as you see, I'm still trying to do this with one hand because I don't feel like going to get my tripod. Okay. There we go. So this is what you wind up with. Here's your notepads. All right. If you like this video, and I apologize that it's short, but this was a continuation of the first uh, video that I made. I just wanted to show you how it worked after I let it, I'm, I'm sorry, after I glued it and, I'm sorry, cut it, glued it, and let it dry what it looks like afterwards. All right. If you like this video, you found it helpful, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you want to continue to be notified of any new videos that I have, which I have more coming, please hit that subscribe button so that way you're notified. I'm sorry, hit the bell so that way you're notified anytime we have new videos coming up. All right. You guys have a blessed night.